The PS5 in itself is an amazing console and we often do long hour gaming as well as streaming with it. However, while doing so, we often noticed that our PS5 got heated up and we became pretty concerned regarding this. After looking for a cooling solution for our PS5 online, we came across this vertical cooling stand from QE Home. Although we were quite skeptical about trying it out, plenty of perky features such as the dedicated charging spot and DVD compartment convinced us to give it a shot. In this video, we'll be testing and reviewing it to figure out whether it delivers what it promises, so let's get started. As an initial impression, the stand looked pretty compact and had a vertical shape to it, but the real picture surfaced when we opened up the trays on both sides. In an instant, the stand got pretty space demanding with both of the trays opened up. Of the two compartments, one is for placing DVDs while the other has two dedicated charging spots for the DualSense controllers. We count a total of 10 partitions for the physical discs and when we place two of ours, they appeared a bit slanted which honestly looks kinda cool. As for the fans, we found them at the center of the stand side by side along with the USB power cord. Apart from these, we also got to see a total of three USB ports on the front surrounded by two buttons on each side. One is for controlling the fan while the other is for lighting. Despite having all these, the stand felt fairly lightweight yet durable in our hands due to its ABS plastic build so let's just set it up and see it in action. We like to mention that this stand is compatible with both the digital and disc version of the PS5 and we have the disc version. Let's just take off the curved shape fitment and place our PS5 on top. After that, we had to plug in the power cord that we mentioned earlier and hit the power button of our PS5 and just like that, the stand lit up along with our PS5. We gotta appreciate how sleek yet minimal the stand looks when lit up. It's got some vibrant RGB lighting on the front that went really well with our PS5's overall aesthetics and we also found out that the lighting could be switched up from a handful of effects and we went with blue to match our mood. After feeding the airflow for a couple of minutes, we found out how this thing cools our PS5. The built-in fans take up air from the sides and bottom and blow it right through the PS5. From there, the exhaust vent of the PS5 does its job and as a result, the heat gets dissipated. We found a total of 4 different speed modes for the fans. In white cooling mode, we could really tell that the fans were spinning fast to dissipate the heat and keep the console cool. We have used this as our go-to mode while streaming countless hours of FIFA. There's also mute fan mode that we like to mention which we often use when our PS5 was idle. And then there was the manual speed mode that we tweaked around to adjust the stand for a balanced cooling to sound ratio. By far, this was our favorite mode and if you find manual adjustments to be a bit of a hassle, you can go for the auto speed mode which does the cooling autonomously. Let's talk more in depth about the lighting mode as there's more to this than meets the eye. After playing around with the settings for some time, we found a total of 8 amazing RGB lighting modes. They are red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and purple. We also found a multicolor cycle mode that blends a handful of colors to cast out a stunning light show. But we preferred the static ones as it was less distracting while gaming. Impressive enough, the high, low, or auto speed switches have their own RGB lights that changed every 2 seconds to show which mode we were on. In auto speed mode, the light flashed green while on top speed, it flashed red. When there was not a lot of fan activity going on, it turned orange. But what we really found amazing about this stand is the dedicated spot to charge our two DualSense controllers simultaneously. After gaming for a while, we placed our DualSense on it and it lit up with a red LED indicating there is low power. After some time, the LED turned green and that's how we got to know this controller was all charged up. Now, apart from cooling and lighting, the USB ports that we mentioned earlier proved to be useful. From the three ports, we used one to pair up our external hard drive, but if you have more accessories to connect, 
you can do that pretty easily right from here. As mentioned earlier, we often play digital games with heavy storage files and the included ports really helped out hooking our PS5 with additional storage. But here is what we found to be really cool, while streaming games on our PS5, one of our DualSense ran out of power and out of curiosity, we hooked it into one of the free USB ports, hoping it'll charge the controller and surprisingly, it did. So yeah, this cooling stand did deliver what it promised. The cooling performance was up to the mark as the built-in fans did the job quite nicely during lengthy gaming sessions. It even exceeded our expectations with tons of perky features that we didn't even think we needed. We highly recommend this stand to anyone who's frustrated by heating issues on the PlayStation 5 console. So that was all about the QE Home PS5 vertical stand, thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.